Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today I gonna demonstrate dynamic magazine filter. In this filter you can use for the magazine sites or blog websites where you can filter your post based on your category like this. You also can see the more categories over here. You can see the different layouts. Some of the categories don't have the post that's why it's showing the blank over here but which post have the category posts which category have the post those will be visible over here you even can the previous next it let's turn it off and check it out yeah you can adjust previous and next you can use that multiple ways there are different styles over here you can see the another style here You will have the different options now let's jump into the backend how to manage this layout and how to adjust their settings now here I am in the elementor panel from there you can drag and drop the dynamic smart showcase widget and from there you need to select magazine filter we also have made separate videos for the magazine slider and the post ticker this video is for the magazine filter now once you select the magazine filter in style tab you have the option for the left right or the top so you have the three options in this first style after that you have the option for the layout you can select two one from the two layouts right you have the different like if you select the left the main highlighted post will be on the left on a right it will be on a right and when you select the top it will be on a top and the bottom will be like this so you have the multiple layouts let's get back to what we were in the first right now you have the heading text which you can put here it will be visible there then you have the option for the post type in which you can select any of your post type that means if you create your custom post type or you you can create that from the tool set or any other plugins but each and every post type will be visible over here which you can select from after that let's look into the content source tab in which you can select the categories if you select the categories first of all i need to mention you can see the masked layout of categories over here but don't worry you just need to update and once you refresh it, it will automatically create this tab. This tab we have created based on the responsive and the width of the device. Such as if you select a small device like here we have selected iPhone X, right? So first of all, it's messed out, but that is because we haven't refreshed it. So once you refresh, you will see the layout like this just a moment yeah you can see look at it so it will organize perfectly when someone open on their device so you need not to worry it will work fine you just need to refresh the page and you are refreshing page just because you have changed the site but your visitor will need not to refresh or anything they will see the exactly perfect this kind of layout in their devices so let's get back to the normal layout now you can select the categories from here or if you don't put anything here you will see all the categories loaded here after that you can include or exclude different posts you can select the tags if you have then you have the option to select maximum post display like how many posts you want to display over here then there is the option for the news post loop that means you can again how much you post you want to showcase here you have selected the seven so seven post will be shown over here right and if you press on the next the seven will appear again like if you select over here right but we have total 10 posts so we don't have that but you can select the maximum post 
from using this option maximum post to display right if you want to showcase only 14 then you can put the 14 here and the loop of 7 that means the loop will be 7 over here 1 is the highlighted post and 6 posts will be here as a normal post so these two options are for that after that you have option for the offset that means you can hide some of your post from the beginning like if you put two then first two posts will be hidden and like if you if i will put two here this is the first one highlighted this is the second that means both the posts will be hidden and this one will be considered as a first one so that is the offset post after that you have the option for the order by there are multiple options then you can select ascending or the descending now let's go to the extra options where first of all we always take care about seo for each and every widget so we have put the title tag over here you can see then you have option to hide or unhide your category post like if you turn it off your category will be hidden right if you turn it on you can see the category over here like also keep in mind this is for the highlighted post only as in our normal post section there is a very little area so we haven't add these kind of options for this normal post area then you have the option for the styling of the category then you have the word limit like if you are long titles you can limit data this out using this option then you, you have a prec option because as you know in the responsive devices we have lots of problem of word break so you can use these options because as always we focus on responsive devices a lot in this mobile first world so these are the options are available then you have the option for the accept if you want to turn it on you can show it if you don't want you can turn it off then you have the word limit for that as well and after that you have the option for the post meta you can turn it on or off like if you turn it, turn it off, off you can you want to see that and 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 this will be for, for, for the highlighted and post and for the normal post let's turn it on for now you will also have the two different styles you can select the any style from that it will reflect over here like you can see in the first style that was one icon over here for the user icon and here is the word by right after that this is the main option of this widget in which you can select the category wise filter you can turn it on or the off if you turn it off you can see you will not see the top filter once you turn it on you will have access of this section and now you have the different filter styles like there are total four different style of filters you can choose from them once you choose the filter style you also have the hover styles so you can select that as well now let's go back to style one you also have the filter alignment options now here is the option for only show next previous that means once you turn it on the filters will be co-hidden and you only have option of next and previous you can you can use this option multiple ways like once you turn it on these effects will not take like we don't need any style because this already hidden if you turn it off now this will work because you can select the style after that so these are the main options for particular this widget now let's go to the style tab in a style tab first of all you have a title in a title you have two different sections like first of all for the highlight post and after that the normal post in a highlight post you can change the typography let's say make it 24 25 whatever as per your needs all these options are responsive as always so you can adjust those as per your needs as per your designs designs and everything then you have option for the title color and text shadow which is available for normal and the hover condition after that same options are available for the normal post title now let's go to the accept content 
we don't have accept content right now but if you have you can turn it on all and you can adjust the typography the color for normal and hover now let's go to the post meta tag in which you have two options for the highlight post options and the formal for the normal post options and for that you have option for the typography the highlight icon size meta color for the normal and for the hover condition again same options are available for the normal post options now let's check out the category post in the category post you can adjust the bottom offset you can see the category post over here right after that you have the typography of that so you can adjust the typography let's say change it to the 15 or 19 you can adjust that then you have the color option for the categories color border color background color everything you have options for the normal and hover conditions which are the same as the title and other stuff you also have the box set option which you can adjust normal and the hover condition the padding option which is the responsive so in mobile device you can adjust that as per your needs and as per the design options now let's see the left side heading the heading is over here you can adjust the background color, its padding, its typography, everything. You can adjust that from here. You also have the all the standard options like border. In a border, you can select the solid, double, dotted, everything. You also have the separated border color. If you turn it on, the separated between this section and the our filter section, you will see from this and you will have the different color options over here right now as it's messed up and it have already the background color we cannot see that but once you use that you will have all the options over here then there is the border radius option box shadow option as you can see all the options you can easily integrate and design as per your needs look at this after that there is the filter category option in the filter category there is the previous and next icon size and color you can see it over here like if you want to increase it you can increase or you can keep it as it was these are the default styles then you have the typography option like if you want to make a, all the text of size bigger or smaller also let's keep it default for now then you have the inner padding option margin category filter color border color and all the other background colors which is available for the normal and for the hover condition after that for the whole filter options you have the option for the background color like you put here you also have the margin padding border border radius every options for the whole section of filter after that you have option for the top content heading and filters so in that you can adjust the inner padding let's say i am putting the 40 inner padding that means the whole section will be in a padding area this is the whole content bar which includes the categories all the post and everything it's outer and the whole section you also can set up the border border width color bottom offset everything based on your needs and based on the below sections after that there are settings for the highlight section which are the indeed most important in the highlight section you can set up the outer padding if you want a outer padding and you can adjust that for the responsive as well then you can select the normal and overlay color which will be highlight colors over here we have keep that default then you have the option for the image position because in a highlight section sometimes you need a better image layout so you can adjust that using this option so let's keep it center center it looks amazing right now then you have the image for image size option like you can select auto cover contain everything you also have the custom height of this section 
that is because if you want to maintain both the section highlight and the normal same size you can adjust using this height option then you have the option for the inner padding the border type box shadow border radius all the options are responsible as well now now let's go to the normal normal section in the normal section first of all you have the vertical alignment option that means if you want to start that from top the bottom or from the center you also have the content in a padding by that you can adjust the padding of that area then you have the box in a padding for the normal section you have a bottom space background color background gradient color you also can use background image as well after that you have the option for the border type you have option for the border width color border radius box shadow these all the options are available for the normal section you can see it over here after that there is the feature image as well you can adjust their width you can increase its width or decrease it okay so all things are based on your needs then you also have the option for the hidden or visible overflow so these are the option useful sometimes but in a normal layout it's uh, like not useful keep it hidden if you don't want that that messy look but sometimes it's useful if you have a same size of each and every images then you have option for the border type border radius and the box shadow all those options are for the normal section after that you have option for the on scroll view animation for that we already have made separate video you can check it out in our channel so these are the options for the dynamic magazine filter we have more videos coming soon for the wordpress and elementor tips and tricks you can subscribe to our channel for that keep crafting amazing websites using the plus addons and elementor page builder see you in the next video